Namo Buddhaya, Namo Amitabhaya. Hello, everyone. So today I feel like talking about why do Buddhists bow at Buddha's statues or images or relics? So are we uh, worshipping idols or we bow at them? So we talked about before how uh, the essence of Buddhism is not really a religion. Rather, it's a path for awakening, a path to help us liberate from all sufferings in life, a path to really activate the original wisdom, the Buddha nature that lies within all beings. So it's not really like a religion, but there are still rituals that we follow and practice, which make others seem like it's just another religion or sometimes uh, people may even think it's a bit superstition. Like why do we bow at Buddha's uh, statues and images? So it's important now we understand the meanings behind these rituals and why we do what we do. So in this video, I'll talk about why do we bow at the Buddha statues or images or relics. So uh, the Buddha we talked about before it's not God. So when we bow at the Buddha, it's not like we're worshipping God or uh, an idol. Well, in a way, you can say that the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas are our idols as Buddhists. Uh, our idols are not like K-pop stars, right? But really, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, the Buddhas are completely awakened beings uh, who realize the truth of life and the universe. So in a way, you can say they are also our idols, the beings that we really look up to and learn from them. But most importantly, uh, the Buddha is our teacher, our fundamental teacher, uh, Shakyamuni Buddha, who taught us about the Dharma, the path to help us awaken our Buddha nature to liberate from all sufferings in life. So most importantly, because they are our teachers, and as a student, of course, we should show respect and gratitude and veneration uh, towards our teacher. So bowing, it's a form of showing respect. Uh, since the Buddha is no longer in the world, uh, the Buddha had entered Paranamana, but when we see the Buddha statues, the Buddha's images, the Buddha's red legs, it's like also seeing the Buddha himself. Uh, it's also the Dharmakaya, the Dharma body of the Buddha. And also the Buddha Sutras, uh, when we see the Buddha Sutras, it's also like the Buddha speaking to us. So it's the same as if we are seeing the Buddha himself. Uh, the Buddha also talk about this in the Buddha Sutras. So that's why we pay our respect, we venerate, uh, we pay homage uh, to the statues, the images, uh, the texts, and the red legs. It's a really a form of showing our gratitude and respect. And Patriarch Yingguang also said, if we have 1% of sincerity, we'll obtain 1% of benefit. If we have 100% of sincerity, we'll obtain 100% of the benefit. So if we are learning from our teacher, of course, we should show our deep respect to our teacher. Like this really shows our sincerity like towards learning the Dharma. Uh, if we don't have sincerity, if we don't have respect to our teacher, then how can we obtain the benefit from the Buddha Dharma? So first is really to uh, show our gratitude, respect and veneration uh, towards our very good teacher, uh, the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. And secondly, bowing is also a great practice to help us let go of our ego, uh, to practice humility. Uh, attachment really leads to suffering, uh, particularly attachment to the self. This little egoistic self really leads to a lot of suffering in the world. So through bowing, uh, bowing our head down, we are really also practicing humility uh, to let go of the ego self. For people who are really arrogant, are really full of pride, then they may not want to bow at anybody. Uh, this is not good if we want to uh, progress, to advance on our spiritual path. Right? We must uh, really let go of our ego self. Uh, maybe it's difficult for uh, most of us to do, but through bowing, it's a great way to uh, practice our humility. Uh, even as 
spiritual practitioners also need to be aware of spiritual ego as well. I never think that your practice is uh, so good and uh, you are better than other people. So do not think like that. So to bow, uh, to prostrate, it's also a great form of our spiritual practice. And it's also a meditation. Uh, it helps us to harmony our mind and body. And we can seek a stillness of the mind when we think movement of the body. Uh, in Tibetan Buddhism, uh, they prostrate all the time, this full body prostration, and they could do it like uh, all the time. Uh, it's really also a form of their spiritual practice. And in the Lotus Sutra, there is also the story of the Bodhisattva, never dismissive. It's also a past life of Shakyamuni Buddha. So basically, this Bodhisattva, uh, whoever he saw, uh, he will always pay uh, respect, uh, bow at this person and said, I'll never look down at you because you will also become a Buddha in the future. So he did that all the time to whoever he meets and people got really annoyed and you know, tried to hit him and uh, throw stones at him, but he never got angry. And eventually he realized enlightenment uh, through that way. So to bow to pay homage is also a great spiritual practice. And in the 10 great vows of the Bodhisattva Samadabhadra, I, the first is to pay homage to all Buddhas, which means to pay homage to the Buddha nature within all beings. Second is to praise the Tathagata, I really to praise the Buddha nature within all beings. If we want to realize Buddhahood, we really need to recognize the Buddha nature within all beings. And we also must practice the 10 great vows of Bodhisattva Samadabhadra. Uh, this is include after we go to the Pure Land. So this we will talk more about in the future videos. So bowing is a form of uh, paying homage to all Buddhas and to praise the Tathagata within all beings. So when we see the Buddha statues, uh, of course, uh, we should pay our deepest respect because we are really uh, seeing our teacher, paying respect to our teacher. And also through bowing, it helps us to uh, let go of the ego self and to activate our original wisdom, uh, the Buddha nature that lies within all beings. Uh, when we bow at the Buddha statue or when we bow at other people, we are also honoring the Buddha nature as within ourselves and all beings. So that's why it's a really great and beneficial spiritual practice. And we have the upcoming three refuges and five precepts ceremony very soon on the 5th of August. And you can register online on our website. And if you're attending this ceremony, also make sure that you have some space for bowing when you are taking the three refuges and the five precepts. So how we bow in Chinese Buddhism is slightly different from Tibetan Buddhism and maybe other traditions as well. So different schools observe different rituals. So in Chinese Buddhism, we observe this fine point veneration right, with fine parts of the bodies on the ground. And that's our knees, our hands, and our forehead. So this is a form of veneration right, from Asian India and Asian China, how they pay the deepest respect to others. So I'll show you a video on how to do it. Palms joining together in front of the heart. Slowly kneel down. Put the right hand in the middle of the prayer cushion. Left hand on the top left corner of the cushion. Right hand then move to the right corner to align with the left hand. Both palms stretch flat. The forehead touching the front of the cushion. Fine point veneration. Then both hands make fist and flip palms. Palms facing up, representing paying homage to the Buddha's feet, praying for blessings and wisdom. Then both hands again make fists and flip palms, with the palms facing down. Forehead lifts the cushion, right hand moves back to the center of the cushion. Left hand on chest, knees of the cushion, both palms joining in Namaskar. <laughs> 